prior to the advent of digital reverbs in the late 1970s, analog methods dominated the realm of reverberation effects. Plate reverbs, utilising suspended metal plates, and spring reverbs, employing coiled springs, were among the earliest techniques, each imparting a unique character to the sound. Chamber reverb involved using physical rooms or specially designed spaces, such as stairwells, were used by many of the top studios around the world. The inception of digital reverb traces its roots to the year 1976 with the introduction of the EMT-250, a pioneering German-engineered device and the inaugural digital reverb unit. At mushroom clouds we're sitting, like in wonderland. Our leaders watch us grinning, like Cheshire cats with plans. This marked a paradigm shift allowing audio to traverse the digital realm and giving rise to intricate, lifelike reverberations. The introduction of the EMT-250 digital reverb marked a groundbreaking moment in music production. As the first ever digital reverb unit, the EMT-250 revolutionized the way audio engineers could manipulate and create reverberation. Its advanced digital processing capabilities allowed for precise control over the characteristics of the reverb, providing unprecedented flexibility and a level of consistency that was unattainable with earlier analog methods. The EMT-250's impact on music production was transformative, setting a new standard for the creation of immersive and realistic sonic environments. The Dynacord DRS-78, introduced in 1978, stands as a notable contender in the realm of early digital reverbs. Hailing from Germany also, this digital reverb unit carved its niche with a distinctive sonic character. Boasting advanced processing for its time, the Dynacord DRS-78 allowed users to shape reverberation with precision, offering a versatile tool for audio engineers. While perhaps not as widely recognised as some counterparts, the Dynacord DRS-78 played a significant role in the transition from analogue to digital reverberation. The unveiling of the Lexicon 224 Digital Reverb in 1978 marked a pivotal moment in the history of audio processing. Renowned for its unparalleled sound quality and innovative algorithms, the Lexicon 224 quickly became an industry standard, leaving an indelible impact on music production. Its sophisticated capabilities, including a rich set of parameters and intricate algorithms, allowed engineers to craft lush, realistic reverberations. And I give you everything and more. Everything, yeah. Everything you ever wanted. Everything and more. The Lexicon 224's influence endures today, as its distinctive sonic signature remains sought after in various genres of music. Its continued use attests to its timeless contribution to the world of sound engineering, shaping the texture and ambience of countless recordings across decades. In the sonic landscape of 1978, the Ursa Major space station emerged alongside the Lexicon 224, contributing its own unique chapter to the evolving world of digital reverb. But where does it all end, Alice? Will we wake from the dream? Which door can you tell us? It's magic that we need. The Ursa Major space station, renowned for its pioneering design, offered a distinctive approach to reverb processing. Embracing digital technology, it provided musicians and engineers with a novel means of sculpting atmospheric and ethereal reverberations. The unit's innovative algorithms and spatial manipulation capabilities set it apart, 
allowing for the creation of otherworldly soundscapes. While not as widely ubiquitous as some counterparts, the Ursa Major Space Station remains a revered piece of vintage audio gear, cherished for its idiosyncratic sonic character and its role in pushing the boundaries of creative sound design during a transformative era in music production. The year 1981 witnessed a paradigm shift in the landscape of digital reverberation with the introduction of the AMS RMX-16. Engineered by advanced music systems, the RMX-16 swiftly rose to prominence as a pioneering digital reverb unit, renowned for its unparalleled sound quality and innovative features. So they were in a hurry, no time just like the hair. We sit at our tea party, mad as hard as yeah. But where does it all end, Alice? Will we wake from the dream? Which door can you tell us? It's magic that we need. This rack-mounted processor utilized proprietary algorithms to create a diverse array of reverberation effects ranging from natural room simulations to more experimental and ambient soundscapes. With its intuitive interface and cutting-edge technology, the AMS RMX-16 became a staple in professional recording studios, offering audio engineers unprecedented control over the spatial characteristics of their recordings. The impact of the AMS RMX-16 extended far beyond its initial release, solidifying its status as a classic in the realm of studio equipment. Its lush and distinctive reverberation became a hallmark of the 80s sound, leaving an indelible mark on countless iconic recordings across various genres. The RMX-16's enduring legacy is evident in its continued use in modern studios, as audio professionals still seek out its unique sonic signature for its ability to add depth, dimension, and a touch of nostalgia to contemporary productions. The AMS RMX-16 is also responsible for the ubiquitous use of gated reverb throughout the 1980s. The AMS RMX-16 was introduced shortly after the release of the Phil Collins album Face Value, which featured the first commercially successful use of the gated reverb effect. Hugh Padgham, who produced Face Value and virtually invented gated reverb, worked with AMS to add the gated reverb effect on the non-linear reverb patch to the RMX-16. The rest, as they say, is history. In 1981, Sony introduced the DRE-2000, a groundbreaking digital reverb unit that left an enduring impact on the world of audio processing. The Sony DRE-2000 represented a leap forward in technology. Stealing thoughts from my mind, dreaming of some other time. Remember the way things used to be, a little time is all I need. Incorporating innovative algorithms and signal processing capabilities. It was Sony's first step into the world of digital reverberation, and it made quite the impact with those who could afford it. And I give you everything and more, everything, yeah. everything you ever wanted, everything and more, everything, yeah. and everything you ever The Sony DRE-2000 was one of the first and last hugely expensive digital reverbs to come out of Japan, and it found favour with a number of engineers, perhaps most famously with Chris Lord Algae, who uses it on every drum mix. In 1982, 
the audio world experienced a significant evolution with the release of the Room Simulator Digital Reverb. Developed by the German company Quantec, this groundbreaking reverb unit introduced a new level of sophistication to the realm of digital audio processing. The Quantec Room Simulator stood out for its innovative approach, offering a distinctive room simulation that went beyond traditional reverberation effects. Utilizing advanced algorithms, it allowed audio engineers to emulate the acoustics of different spaces, providing an unprecedented level of control over room characteristics. The Quantec Room Simulator quickly became a staple in professional studios, contributing to the sonic landscapes of countless recordings by imparting a realistic sense of space and dimension. Its release marked a pivotal moment in the ongoing quest for authentic and customizable reverberation in the ever-evolving field of audio production. The Eventide SP 2016, released in the mid-1980s, stands as an iconic milestone in the history of digital reverb. Developed by the renowned audio processing innovator, Even Tide, the SP2016 quickly gained recognition for its revolutionary approach to reverb algorithms. This rack-mounted digital reverb unit offered a rich palette of reverberation effects, from classic halls to innovative spatial manipulations. On mushroom clouds we're sitting, like in wonderland, our leaders watch us screening. Like Cheshire cats with plans. What set the SP2016 apart was its unique ability to seamlessly blend different reverberation algorithms, providing an unparalleled level of sonic versatility. The Yamaha Rev1, introduced in 1983, represents a significant chapter in the evolution of digital reverberation technology. Crafted by the renowned Japanese audio equipment manufacturer, Yamaha, the Rev1 made a distinctive mark with its advanced processing capabilities and innovative features. This rack-mounted digital reverb unit showcased Yamaha's commitment to delivering high-quality sound and versatility in spatial effects. Boasting a diverse array of reverberation algorithms and an intuitive interface, the Yamaha Rev1 became a staple in both recording studios and live sound applications. One more time And I give you everything and more Everything, yeah Everything you ever wanted Everything and more By the time the mid-1980s rolled around, digital reverb was everywhere, with new models appearing every second month it seemed. From not only the initial pioneers such as EMT, Lexicon, Sony and Yamaha, but from newcomers such as ART, Roland and Alesis, who brought digital reverb within reach for home studios. Companies such as Lexicon continued to develop and innovate with a range of digital reverb processes that made them the prominent player in the world of studio-grade digital reverbs. 
Models such as the Lexicon 480L are legends in the recording world, with countless records having used it for adding lush reverb effects to their sonic landscape. While there have been many reverbs released over the last 40 plus years, few remain in production today, with many engineers switching to VST plugins. Lexicon still offer the PCM92 and PCM96 digital reverbs, and AMS have re-released the AMS RMX16 digital reverb as a 500 series unit. There have been very few new manufacturers who have dipped their toe into the world of hardware digital reverbs of late. However, Bricasti Design achieved great success with their brilliant M7 digital reverb, which has dominated studios the world over since its release. Still, it is the original old digital reverbs which have remained close to the hearts of many studio engineers. The Lexicon 224, Lexicon 480L and the AMS RMX16 are, without a doubt, the most revered digital reverbs of all time and remain in use in some of the biggest recording studios around the globe.